Okay. So I got home from work, so I didn't change, but uh, I'm working with Whiskey on his walk. And I already started, and he's picking it up really well. Whiskey, sit. No. Whiskey, sit. No. Whiskey, good boy, yes. So I have the prong collar on him. Um, and I've been working on his walk. So I'm gonna show you where we're at. Whiskey. Yes. Good boy. Alright, ready? Ready? Walk. Yes. Good job, buddy. Whiskey. Walk. We'll do a turn. Walk. Good boy. Come on. Yes. Good boy. Whiskey. Walk. Good. Yes. Whiskey, walk. Walk. Yeah. Walk. Yes. Whee! Good job, buddy. Good boy. So whenever I have him free, I don't want him to be on my left side because that's where I have him in the, when I have him in position, that's where I have him. So I don't want him to be, con I want him to be able to know the difference between free and being in a walk. So, Whiskey, here. Yes, good boy, good boy. So I have it transitioned to the um, to the e-collar yet for the walk just because starting out with the prong collar is easier um, and then I'll start adding in the stimulation of the collar the remote collar so that's where we're at right now whiskey here yes good boy okay ready let's walk Yes, good boy. So notice I'm um, rewarding him here because that's where I want him. I want him to my side. I don't want him forward. I don't want him too far back. I want him right here. So walk, walk, good, whiskey walk. Come on, good boy. Yes. Good boy. What I want, or what you're gonna want, is to be able to see him through your peripheral, but not have him too far forward. Because uh, basically, to give you a good example of why you don't want him too far forward is for when you're turning. You want to be the leader in turning. You don't want to be running into him and being like, okay, let's turn. You want to be leading him. Good boy. Yes. Good job. Walk. Good boy, come on. Walk. Yes. Good boy. Whee! Good job, buddy. Good job. Good boy. Okay. So, that's where we're at.